Hey everyone, welcome back to Bookish Ramblings. In today's video, I am doing something that I've never done before, and that is I'm going to be unboxing a sub book subscription box that I ordered and I got here today, and I'm really, really excited to open it. So yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so here is the box that it came in. I use sticky notes to cover up my address so that I don't get kidnapped. I've seen these like book subscription boxes for like a really long time on other people's channels and I just thought it was like the coolest thing ever and I really really wanted to get one but I couldn't find a box that I liked. Um, they have like so many fiction book subscription boxes out there but they're for books that I don't read. I did find one called like Four Anchors or Anchor Chest or something like that and it was a um YA Christian fiction subscription box and I was so excited when I found it because it was the only one like that that I found. I, I'm pretty sure they're not doing it anymore and all I can figure is that they weren't very popular or I don't know but I, I don't think they're doing it anymore. If you know any information about that um, please let me know because I was so so sad about it. They do have other like Christian faith themed boxes out there but they're usually for like non-fiction self-help Christian books or like devotionals or um, stuff like that and I really don't read nonfiction but I was just really really wanting to open one of these boxes so I went ahead and ordered one it's gonna have like a nonfiction or devotional or something in it but I was like I'll just do it once so I'm really excited to open it and we'll see um, the thing about these boxes is that you don't know like what you're getting until you get it in the mail so it's a surprise but it's supposed to come with like a book and then like some other goodies like bookmarks or something like that um. So we'll see if this one, I don't remember how much this one cost. Um, how much was this one? This one might have been like $30 or something around about there. Open it. What's inside? Okay, so the first thing is, uh, it's like a, oh wait. Oh, it's an Easter box. I was wondering if I was going to get an Easter box. Okay, so it has like this cute little note card that says he has risen on it. And... On the back is like a little note from the woman that like puts these together. Okay, so this is just telling me what is in the box and like who um, made these certain like items. So, oh my gosh, this is really cute. I love the little like, the colorful like pink like paper that's usually in like Easter baskets. Okay, so like there's this cute necklace. It's Jesus's crown of thorns. You can't like see this. I'll show like a close up of this. But like, this is pretty cute. I really like this a lot and I'll definitely be wearing this. Um, it's Addie Rose Southern collection. There's like these little, a little note card that comes with it and it says, I hope you love this necklace as much as I do. Um, but it's showing me the website that I can go to and it's addierosesouthern.etsy.com to see my full line of fun and affordable jewelry and accessories. On the back of the note card, it told me that these are plantable seed packets. I'm not sure exactly what kind of plant or flower this is maybe it says on the back I'll have to reread it but um I will probably just give this to my mom because she's the planty gardener woman in the family um and I really am not into the outdoors or like planting things so I will just like give this to her and let her plant it all right so the next thing is this wooden frame okay it's just like this little one thing that says he has risen Matthew 28 and you can just like set this on a shelf so I think this will be really cute I'll just set it on my bookshelf right there that is really really cute i love i love this stuff okay let's get this out of there Ooh. the cover on this book is so pretty wild in the hollows on chasing desire and finding the broken way home amber c haynes i have never heard of this book this is put out by revel oh wait wait a second is this fiction oh no this is a memoir Amber Haynes is a woman haunted by God. Like even the garden, she craved the fruit that she thought would lead her to freedom. But the whispers of temptation led her instead down a path of isolation, dissatisfaction, and life-altering choices. In her most broken moment, Amber met God waiting for her in the fallout, freely offering her grace and life. This is a story of the God who makes himself known in broken places. Sometimes I really like memoirs because they read like a fiction book. So... I'm actually really excited about this one because this is better. I was really hoping I wasn't going to get a devotional just because, I mean, de devotionals are great and nice. I have a couple of them, but I'm very bad at sticking with them and reading them every day. Um, so I'm not really huge into devotionals. So I'm really glad that I got a memoir. And this cover is so pretty. Like, I love it. 
I ordered this box and I wasn't really expecting much because I know some boxes really don't come with much stuff. This one only had a few items in it, but I really like all of the stuff that came in it. Um, except for the seeds, which I said I'll give to my mom and she's going to love it. I'm going to change out my necklace. I'm going to wear it now. Oh, this is like a short necklace. So I thought it was going to be a longer one. Yeah, it's just a little short. I don't really know how I feel about it. I feel like I would prefer mine to be like a little bit longer. So, I may end up like buying another chain or I may just have a silver chain like in my jewelry stuff somewhere. I don't know if it's real sterling silver. It doesn't say. So, maybe I can like go on her website, her Etsy account and like it'll tell me if it's like sterling silver or what, but I don't I don't think it is, but I'm not really good at judging that sort of thing. In case you're interested in buying one of these boxes, I will put a link to um to the website to order it from in the description below again i went to createjoy.com and they have like all kinds of boxes and then you can just like search what kind of box that you want like when you find a box that you like you can look at pictures of like the past boxes and what they look like to kind of see like if it's going to have stuff in it that you would like and then some of the boxes make you order like several months in advance and then some of them will just let you order one single box and then you can cancel after that um, and just get the one box which is what i did thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time in another bookish rumblings video bye